Hey, welcome to Happy Hour, and I have the pleasure of being here at Wilmore Lodge with my good friend Heather. Heather, Hi. thank you so much for joining us. And Heather is the executive director, right? Yes. Of the Lake of the Ozarks Convention CVB, Convention of Visitor Bureau. There you hey, go. Hey, I got that. I, I have to do that <laughs> slow because I get tongue tied if I yes, try to if I try does. to do it fast. Yes. Now tell me what how, why is it so important for Lake of the Ozarks to have a Convention of Visitors Bureau? Like I, I yeah. assume the the regular answer, but tell us uh, tell us a little bit more about this. So most communities have chambers, which is where we're at today. We're at mm -hmm. a Chamber of Commerce office, which is absolutely beautiful. I think yes. we could all agree on that. Um, but not every area has a Convention of Visitor Bureau. So it's a valid question. So not everyone knows exactly what we do. And so um, in certain areas that are high tourism locations, maybe it's for conventions or maybe it's for leisure travel, as we would call it, um, there's CVBs, Convention and Visitor Bureaus. Mm -hmm. And so our goal is to bring visitors here, whether it's for convention or just for vacation. And so because we have this beautiful body of water that was uh, finalized in 1931, which the place we're sitting in right now is yeah. actually a museum for the creation of the lake. You can see a turbine, you can see a whole bunch of cool artifacts from when it was created. This was actually the headquarters for the corporate office of the engineers and those that came down and worked on the Bagnell Dam that created this entire lake. So in 1931, it was finalized. Massive, 1,150 miles of shoreline, 92 miles long, covers 54,000 acres, which mm -hmm. that's a lot of acres. Oh, yeah. Covers three counties, Miller, Morgan, and Camden County, as well as multiple towns and just communities in general. And so once that was created, we had a few business leaders that said, this is spectacular. Yeah. We got to we got to promote this. We got to let people know it's here. And so in 1932, we were created the Lake of the Ozarks Convention and Visitor Bureau and so we started promoting not me in general. I wasn't here in 1932. Yeah, but back in 1932 it was yeah. mostly Facebook and Twitter. <laughs> Sending out tweets yes. in the 30s. That's right. No, it was brochures. It was booklets. It was trade shows. There they were sending out tweets yes. with just like doves. They would just put yeah. little notes and go, tell people about the lake. Just drop it in their town. <laughs> no, it was, you know, it was really cool. And actually a lot of people, you know, back then the railroad was big. And so Eldon was a railroad town. And yeah. so it was just great. You could, um, you know, get here easily, believe it or not. And so, um, you know, they just promoted the lake area. And over the years, of course, as communications yeah. have evolved, as, you know, technology has evolved, we've evolved. And so now we do use all those mediums and it's just a real economic way to let people know what we have. and you know, TV, just sitting mm -hmm. here, having the lake view. It's just a beautiful atmosphere. And so we just got to let people know about it. And so that's my job, and, sell fun. And what you do is absolutely amazing. I got the opportunity to uh, go to one of your evening events where we do yes. some fundraising and stuff and, and the charities that you're involved in to, yes. to help out. But I love that uh, someone said, I think it was Legina that was talking about how we used to just reach out or the CVB would reach out to, you know, Kansas, Kansas City, Illinois, and now we're looking at places much farther away yes. and doing a lot more advertising in like Chicago and yes. and areas that maybe we just need to broaden the yes. the spectrum. And so you guys are really at the uh, the forefront of getting the word out of Lake yes. of the Ozarks. We are, and you know, um, Drive Market. Once again, we're we're you know we're a big area. But compared to like your big cities like Chicago, St. Mm -hmm. Louis, Kansas City, our budgets aren't can't compete with that. Yeah. The only monies that we have to promote this entire community is a lodging tax, which is what Legina does. She's head of the Tri-County Lodging Association and they do a fantastic job marketing the lake with those marketing dollars and mm -hmm. we partner with them. We do all the ad creative and we do a lot of work behind the scenes for them. Um, but having said that, you know, when it's a drive market and a smaller budget, you did focus on just your surrounding states. You know, two to three hundred miles was kind of your your parameter. And then with technology, it's just gotten amazing. Oh, like yeah. I can say, hey, let's go to Dallas and let's just promote in Dallas just using social media and we can create a buzz and get those people over here. So it's really really expanded our reach for yeah. a real affordable price. Um, the other thing that really helped us, which aided in um, the numbers she was giving, was 
I hate to say it, COVID. Mm -hmm. um, when a lot of those communities were shut down, they weren't open, we have an outdoor destination. Yeah. You can be on a boat away from people safely. We have the largest state park in the state of Missouri, so you can go hiking, you can go biking, you can go kayaking, fishing, and not see a soul. Yeah. Um, people flocked here. Oh, it was all busy. All over, <laughs> and Dallas was a huge market for us. Denver is an emerging market for us right now. And so we saw new markets that we hadn't really seen before mm -hmm. really starting to travel up. And so we really started putting more efforts in those markets um, northern states have always been a really good market for us because we're warm earlier. Yeah. So golfing, if you're up there and you're getting snow in March, but down here you can go golfing, guess what? You're coming down south or you can yeah. go ahead and get on the water and fish, things like that. So northern states love to come down here in the spring. And so that's always been a great market for us. But yeah, that Dallas, Denver, those little farther away places have been real interesting. Yeah, so. and, and I love the like the guides that you guys offer mm -hmm. for uh, all the different things at Lake of the Ozarks. You know, I always have to go to the restaurant guide and let yeah. my like drool over every page of all the all the great food that we have here yes. and and it's those things that you're you're showing everyone the all the things that Lake of the Ozarks has to offer yes what are some of the events that are going to be coming up and some things that you want to talk about yeah so we have a lot of great events at Lake of the Ozarks so mm -hmm. first of all if you're coming down or you're interested go to funlake.com full comprehensive list of events and there's no way I can go over every event we have. <laughs> However, we like to celebrate down here. Fun Lake is our website, so I sell fun. Yes. Part of fun is events and having fun. So um, we're really excited about that. We have our Harbor Hop coming up, which is May 6th. It's on a Saturday. It's always the first Saturday of May. It's a huge fun poker game on water, but mm -hmm. we do get people that drive, so that's exciting as well. So you can come by land. And it stretches all through Lake of the Ozarks. Yes. All the the water bars, yep. you swing in. And, and yes. I love it because I get to DJ a lot of times yes. at, at different places. Yes. And just to see that's kind of like the big kickoff of getting out on the water and getting yes. your boats going and heading out to all these restaurants yes. and bars. And of course, for the restaurants and bars, that's the big kickoff That's for them. That's their big busy yep. day and busy weekend. So. Yeah, so you said it exactly right. The whole purpose when that was created, um, actually the Fall Harbor Hop was created first. It's been going on for 37 years. Mm -hmm. It was created by Randy Kelly at Kelly's Port oh, because yeah. as a marina, he was like, everybody just closes up, you know, come mm -hmm. You know, Labor Day, they were done, they're off the water. Memorial Day, they open up. So they were only here a couple months. And he's like, we still have beautiful weather all the way yeah. through October. So we need to do something to get them to keep their boats on the water. And so they created that. It just took off. Oh, yeah. And then once it took off, it was more than he was wanting to take on. And so it got... Uh, moved over to the Marine Dealers Association and they took it on and then of course it became so big So then the Lake of the Ozarks Convention and Visitor Bureau took it on yeah. and so we've been managing it now for decades and um, Then at some point someone along the way said hey, let's do a kickoff You mm -hmm. know, let's start the boating season and let's end the boating season and so you do you see a lot of these waterfront Locations that's their first day open or their first week and that's their last day I would dare to say the person that came up with the idea had a boat yes <laughs> and yes. was sitting there going i really want to get yes. out on the water i have an idea we can get some friends together yes. <laughs> if i get enough friends together yes. i can you know get out on the water that's so. right and the fall one's super fun as well because people dress up in halloween costumes yes. and it's amazing like i love seeing the creativity people who've been doing it for years mm -hmm. have their t-shirts made so All it's matching. a fun oh, day yeah. fun it's fun day so so we have the two harbor hops this year so you you definitely want to make sure you take advantage of that fishing mm -hmm. tournaments go on year round so there's always 10 of those so if you're a fisherman or you think you want to dabble in that, um, you can always go to funlake.com and check those out. We also have um, Dogwood Festival coming up, which is a big festival for our community. It's in Camdenton and that's at the end of April. And then um, going into season, you know, we have different things from boat races like lake race to the shootout to um, just lots of little small poker runs and different things mm -hmm. that happen. Uh, once you go into the fall, we have Bike Fest, which is a big bike rally down here at Lake of the Ozarks. We get people from all over the country attend that event. 
We also have um, all the fall festivals, which if you have not been to Lake of the Ozarks during fall, it is not only a beautiful mm -hmm. time to visit Lake of the Ozarks just for the fall foliage and just the temperatures. Our golf in the fall is through the roof, um, just best time to be on the course, but also those festivals. So you yeah. have Apple Festival down in Versailles, you have the Turkey Festival in Eldon, and so you have swapping days, you have pumpkin um, patches, and you know, just different fall fun festive. It's like a Hallmark movie down here, to be honest, <laughs> with a big lake in the middle. Yeah, so, that's right. <laughs> you know, and so it's beautiful. And so I always encourage people to come in the fall and then. As soon as that wraps up, we go right into holiday season. And again, we have holiday events. We have um, three major light parks that, you know, anyone can come and drive through. So just really any time of year, you can almost just make it a fun, fun trip, no matter where you're from. So I assume you don't get a day off, right? Because it, <laughs> there's always something going on at Lake yeah, of the Ozarks. There uh, is. Year round, there's, there's things going yeah. on, just like you said. And so you're having to get out yeah. and promote and... And I love it. Once again, where can people go to get all of the information? Funlake.com is where you go. Check it out. Like this weekend, I'll be at a parade. So um, <laughs> there's always something to do down here. So just if you already know the weekend you're coming or if you, you haven't decided if you want to come, go to funlake.com. Everything's on there to plan your trip. We also have a really cool tool called the Visit Widget. Uh, most people don't know what that is um, unless you've but been to our website. But it's fun to say. It's, it's a visit, vis widget. visit widget. I know. And so it's a it's an interactive planning tool. You can click it. And let's say you're coming down here just for Harbor Hop. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know that you're going to stay, um, well, here we're at Wilmore Lodge. So you know that you're probably going to start at Neon Taco. Okay. Because mm -hmm. you're staying by Neon Taco. So you want to start your Harbor Hop there. And so you can go from that point and see what else is near you. So after you're done with Harbor Hop and the next day, let's say you wanna do some shopping, you wanna eat out, you wanna do different things, you can plan your entire itinerary on this tool. And you can put in either an event you're attending, let's say you're coming down for shootout and you know that you know where shootout's going to be so you want lodging by there mm -hmm. so you can pick that location and see all the lodging available oh, around nice. that shootout um, and then from there where's dining where's the attractions what can i do and so it really helps you plan your t your weekend or your mm -hmm. time while you're down here your week and then once you kind of get it built you can share it with other people in your group oh, you can send that... it to grandma you can send it uh -huh. to the aunt you can send it to your friends here's and, my itinerary yeah stuff and then they can on. tweak it or look at it or say yeah i don't know and it gives you drive time. This is another thing a lot of people don't realize. We cover 54,000 acres. Mm -hmm. So by water, you're really close, mm -hmm. but by land, it could take you an hour. So by having this planning tool, it can really help one with estimating your times, kind of having an idea, well, do I want to drive an hour to go eat at that mm -hmm. restaurant or should I find one closer? So it may be worth it, it may not. You just have to decide what your timing is for that day. So it's a really cool planning tool that we encourage people to check out. Look, we are adding um, biking trails, hiking trails to that tool as well. So Very that nice. way, yeah, if you wanna be just a complete outdoors weekend or week, you can also plan that. Oh, the so. visit widget. The visit widget. I really like that. Yeah, That's so go fun. to funlake.com. It's on there, the events, everything, so. Yeah. This this is great. This has yeah. been a fun, fun time. And of course, in this beautiful place, Wilmore Lodge, if you have not checked out Wilmore Lodge, make sure you get yes. here. Go through, like you can, you can see the whole history of Lake of the Ozarks yes. and how it began and how it got built. And thank you yes. so, so much for for doing what you do to Lake Thank of the Ozarks. You. Thank and, you. And how long have you been with the CBB? So I have technically been there about 12 years, give okay. or take. I, I took been a, a while. little bit of time away, but I came back. I had some kids and then came back. And so I just love it. I love tourism. Um, it, it's definitely a passion of mine. And when you sell fun, how yeah. can you hate it? So, That's right. Fun that, that is absolutely yeah. perfect. Funlake.com, when you sell fun, how can you hate it? Yeah. I love it. So welcome to Lake of the Ozarks. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, sitting down and uh, chatting with us and telling us all the things that we need to know about Lake of the Ozarks. Heather, it's been great. Thank you. Thanks and for good, having me. And good luck with everything else. Thank you. <laughs> More happy hour coming up after this.